here to bring the solidarity of Sinn Féin and the solidarity of the Irish people to those, our beleaguered brothers and sisters in Palestine. Of course, we now mark the 75th anniversary of the Nakba, but we also mark every day of the 75 years since that have been marked by ethnic cleansing, Israeli aggression, injustice and rights denied to the people of Palestine. And it is regretful and it is a shameful story to say that we are still no closer to justice for the people of Palestine. Every day new stories, every month new atrocities, every year justice continues to be denied. In the past year we've seen another journalist killed in the line of her work. Rush in Israel acting with impunity. And in the last month we saw a school being demolished by Israel, an EU funded school. Israel continues to enjoy impunity. In the last week we have seen a further bombardment, further suffering and killing of innocent people. Israel continues to act with impunity. And the truth is that Israel will continue to act with impunity until the world says stop. And we're here today to say that the world must say stop. Action must be taken because the Israeli regime is an apartheid regime. And we know from history that the only way apartheid regimes are brought to an end is when international pressure forces them to be brought to an end. It was international pressure that brought South African apartheid to an end and it will be only through international action that Israeli apartheid will be brought to an end. So we're here today to call on political representatives right across the world to take action. Next week in the Dáil, the Irish Parliament, Sinn Féin will be bringing forward a piece of legislation that will call on the Irish government to divest all of our strategic funds from any company that is operating within the occupied territories. I'm hopeful and confident that we will pass that legislation because we want to send a clear message that the Irish people will play no part in supporting Israeli war crimes. And our message from London today, from Ireland, from London and from right across the world is that we expect governments and parliaments all over the world to take similar actions and to take similar stands. Because today and this week marks 75 years uh, since the Nakba, but it also marks 75 years of solidarity with the Palestinian people. And I want to say today that solidarity will continue every single day to come until we bring forward justice for the Palestinian people. Can you hear